Well, good morning. Uh, it's another wet day, as you can see. Um, uh, yeah, as I, I think I mentioned in the last video, I thought I'd um, have a little look around this morning and, um, well, see what I bought, basically. Um, so I checked, this is one of the fields, so there are, I think I did say it in the end, I got it wrong at one point, but there are three fields and the, the, the grass pasture. Um, yeah, and by Spectacle Farm, there you go. Um, yeah, it's a pretty decent sized field. This is all going to be, not grass around, a little shed over here. So yeah, I just, I, I thought we'd, I mean, obviously, hmm, what else am I going to do? It's raining again. Um, but there is forecast for it to dry up and brighten up a little bit later, so we'll see. But yeah, I just thought it was worth me having a, look, a good look round. I didn't get, I didn't go too in depth last time because I was just looking right. Um, I was just being nosy more than anything else. But you know, now I bought it, I thought I'd better come and have a more detailed look. I mean, wow, what? Um, but yeah, so, and I think. The last two fields are these two here. Shots are sitting enough. Yeah, okay. So again, it's a good sized field. Quite a lot of grass border, there's a lot of slope around, so it's not like it's particularly usable space. Oh, that greenhouse is up there. I know, I can't find those those the first time around. And actually, no, I think we did, but we didn't go too far to look at them. So maybe we should go and check those out. Um, it's just good to get, I want to get an idea of, of what we, I should, I'm going to look at it. I want to get an idea of what we're dealing with. So, you know, I can start planning. I, I've, I went through my, um, there's a lot of wood around. I wonder if I can make any use of that. Um, a little storage area. Okay, so this is our last field. This is a big field. But it's also got trees in it. Okay, so we'll have to take those out somehow. It's obviously not been uh, used for a very long time. Oh, there's. I'm getting very wet. I should have done this in the car. The edges of the fields need cleaning up a little bit. Um, there's some wood, cut down wood. Okay, that might be worth something. Uh, so I need to figure out if there's a, I don't know, sawmill, timber yard, something like that somewhere. I suppose actually if there is, I wonder if they take some of this. Can I, no, it's too heavy, I think. Is it? Can I pick it up? No, it's too heavy. Okay. Just to cover the fence, because there's a few little trees, and I, and I guess fine for now, but at some point, I might want to take those out and square off the field a little bit, to be honest. I guess we'll see what it's like to work, but there's quite, there's quite a good grass border all the way around. Um, So actually that's that's quite good. But yeah, I wonder if I could get away with expanding the field just a little bit to uh, make it, you know, a bit bigger, obviously. Uh, but without getting too close to the fences. Okay, let's carry on up to the yard. This area down here, it's just a grass grass area. I don't know if we own that or not, actually. I'm assuming that we do. There we go, look, respectable farm. I'm assuming that we do. It'd be kind of weird if we didn't. So this is the yard. I mean, we sort of, we did have a, a reasonable, actually, there's some more wood over there. I don't remember seeing that. 
okay, interesting. I mean, they've said what's there is, is, is included, so I mean, I'll double check on some of this stuff, but I mean, I do wonder if some of this equipment is perhaps a little bit past it, but um, but yeah, there's quite a bit of cleaning up and tidying up to do. I mean, I wonder if any of these pallets have actually got stuff in them. Or, and even if they do, whether or not it's viable, you know, whether it's any good. Quite a lot of hedge, hedge and undergrowth clearing to be done. Well, I think we said that was the sheep pasture, right? And then there's these buildings, which they look all right. Again, quite a bit of stuff to clear out of them and around them, because they're, you know, I mean, that one's virtually inaccessible at this point in time. So a bit clearing. So I need some sort of skip or a company that will come and help me take away some of this stuff. Need to see what's about. Maybe this. I don't know, scrap merchant to me, if, if, if some of these vehicles, which, yeah, they don't look great, do they, are, uh, are no good, then I can kind of get a little bit of money for them. There's bits of rubble all over the place, and I just, I'm going to need someone to come and help me take it, take some of it away. Oh, hang on. Is this a workshop? Gold bar. Really? Alright. Oh, um, I haven't got the key, so we can't go in. Um, and again, oh, a lot of rubbish. And yeah, another very old looking car. Some concrete, broken up bits of concrete. Probably want the, the yard to be patched up a little bit. There's some quite big cracks and lumps and chunks missing and stuff, and they're only going to get worse if we don't get them fixed. Um, especially in this, ra in this rain. <laughs> oh well, right, carry on around. So we didn't really go much further than this last time. Um, so another big shed, very nice, some liquid storage looks like over there. Oh, oh hang on. What? What? No way. Hang on, so there's what? Cultivator. It's in a bit of a sorry state. This doesn't look too bad, but it. I mean, I don't know how long it's been sat under here. So I don't know what sort of state it's in. It looks pretty decent. Cedar. Again, looks like it needs a bit of TLC, but doesn't look too bad. That could be repairable. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what sort of state that's in. We, we'd need to get the key and have a look. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, right, yeah, and then down here. So we didn't come down, whoa, this is steep. Whoa, this is steep. So there's more storage over here. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's like root crops and stuff, is it? It's like some left in. I can't imagine they'll be up to much. Sugar beet. Potatoes. What on earth is that? Sugar cane, is it? Is it warm enough around here to grow sugar cane? Oh, look at the bridge. Wow. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, right. I may not cross that today. Um, we'll get it checked out. Not that, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'd use it for, to be honest. Am I ever going to leave the yard without? Well, I suppose if I was at John's or something and we'd had a drink, I suppose that was. It's a quicker way to get back than, uh, you know, walking all the way around the road. Um, more bits of wood again. 
and then down to, well, I suppose the dock, really, right? So this bit we definitely didn't come and look at last time. Yeah, so it's a loading crane. Just for, well, I suppose logs, really. So if I can get them down here. Arch. Uh, okay. I mean, I kind of want to get it looked at for seaworthiness, but I mean it's floating, so it can't be. It can't be too bad. <laughs> oh, we'll get the engine checked out and stuff. Is that fuel tank looks like maybe. I'm assuming it's empty. Kind of hard to tell. Funny, looks like the actual pump came from a petrol station. That's quite funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. And then, sort of little inlet, dock inlet kind of thing. And then another boat, which again, I mean, looks a little bit the worse for wear, but equally, it is still floating. Panel there, I wonder if. Hmm. Wow, okay. I put that away. I thought that boat trip on. I wonder if it's uh, similar. Sort of beach area, that's not how I was. Again, more of this wood, though. Looks like it needs tidying up to me. I'm fucking uh, getting anything for it. Well, wow. Look at that. There we go, folks. I think that's it. Oh no, we were going to go look at the greenhouses. Okay. Oh, there's that lorry again. Looks a little bit past its best, but yeah, there's definitely more wood look. And then, I wonder what's in there, okay. So I'll find that out. Oh, another fuel tank. So one for the ships, one for the machinery. Again, with what looks like a petrol station pump. Wow, and again, a whole load of rubbish and stuff to move, but it's a wood. And the cow pasture which I suppose you should have a look at. Not that I know a great deal about it, other than what I've learned from John over the last week or so, week and a bit. There's the milking machine. Again, needs tidying up, it needs cleaning out, but fine, it's just a bit of work, isn't it, really? And to another door, there's a door at the end, look. And again, the pasture just needs a bit of tidying up. Not that hedges are a problem for cows necessarily, but you know, bushes, not hedges, I mean. Multiple bushes make a hedge. A single bush with lots of other single bushes is not a hedge. You know what I mean? And then, so we did take a brief look at, yeah, yeah, I must have, I don't remember, I suppose. I wasn't really looking from the perspective of buying at the time, but. I must have looked at these greenhouses. Or noticed these, not looked at them, I didn't come this far in. But I mean, again, this needs a lot of clearing out. Still more space here though. Um, I don't know what I'd do with it, but there is space. Wow, it's very overgrown. Very overgrown. Oh, it looks like there's some glass missing and stuff growing through. Yep, yeah, and there's... <laughs> even some bushes inside the greenhouses. Okay. Good grief. Yeah, this needs a bit of work. Um, I'm not sure I can get through. I mean, there's, you know, water storage, there's 
manual storage or something sort of, you know. Oh yeah, 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 these need a lot of work. Um, yeah, lots of panes missing, stuff growing through them, stuff growing inside them. But I mean, you know, potential, potential. Wow, well, that's interesting. But how far does this go across? Oh, okay, so you've got to climb down there, can you see? It just comes around the edge of the field. Well, there we go. Wow. Um, and we've not even looked at the, the grass field. Okay, well, I'll get back in the car then and I'll see you over there. Right, so here we are. We did drive down here the other day, actually. Um, but it's huge. Actually, no, I'm going to get the drone up. Let's have a look. Right, hang on. Here we go. Set it down. I'm going to get back in. There we go. Sweep it out. Whoa. That's a big area of grass. Let's just drive along down. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's interesting having the having the car in. Let's take it steady in. The, in the shot, because you realise how big it is. More storage. Mm -hmm. There's a truck there, that's a bit weird. So, what? What's this pipe then? Looks like it goes from the fire gas plant. Weird, okay, let me get the drone in. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what? So I mean, here's the biogas plant, which I, mean, I might as well have a look at, because you know, I get a feeling I should be coming here. <laughs> um, all that grass. Way bridge. Looks like it's a silo or something. It's got sort of silo loading point. There's ties over there to cover that. That's a big bunk of silo. Look at that. There's the digester where you unload. Interesting. I don't know if there's anyone around. I'll, uh, I'll come and have a chat with him another day. Anyway. Right, let's go to John's farm and, well, I don't know what we can do, to be honest, given the weather, but let's go and, uh, let's go and have a chat with him. <clears throat> well, main things that need doing soon, apart from starting to seed some of the fields, is harvesting and fertilizing and so to be honest there's not a great deal we can do right now so but this is ready so John said we'll just clear the tires off it perhaps start taking the cover off and then if it's still raining after lunch we can um, uh, We can feed the cows, give them some more food, make some TMR, and uh, if it dries up, we can perhaps spread some fertilizer, and then maybe this afternoon we'll start harvesting, depending on how quickly the crops dry out. Um, but the, the first field that we seeded um, really, really needs harvesting. 
There we go. Right. Oh, look at that. It's quick too. Very nice. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. First time I've done silage. Not tired. No, I don't think cover it anymore. I'll do it as we go along. Um, I suppose you also need to check if what sort of state the combine's in. I guess I could give that a wash this afternoon. Uh, take it to the workshop. And otherwise, yeah, there's not a lot going on. So that might be it. I've, I've, I've um, been having a little chat with John. I did make a list of all the equipment that we've got um, at my uncle's farm um, last night. So having seen, well, there's equipment there, so I need to double check with the agents to make sure whether or not it's included. But having seen, and I'm stood in the rain, um, having seen that there's some stuff there, I think it probably means, well, I haven't got a cedar anyway, because I borrowed that from the, um, from the store on that promotion. Um, but um, I shan't bother bringing the tractors over, I don't think. They're not worth that much. And I was already beginning to think that, that actually they're probably not even worth, you know, moving because of the cost of moving it. And that may go for a lot of the equipment that we've got. I think the, the soil sampler that I got from the college, I got at such a good price. I mean, crikey, they virtually gave it to me, um, which was very kind of them. Um, is, is worth moving because A, it's quite small and therefore it won't cost much to move, but also they're actually quite expensive new, so I'm, I'll bring that with me. Um, and obviously we're going to bring the chickens, um, but I'm, I may wait a little bit, so maybe I'll just wait and I'll get it all shipped all at once. Um, I don't need a sort of sampler immediately. And then I'll look at what's left and I'll have a chat with the store and see what see what they can do it might take me a, I need a trip over there at some point I mean I will anyway but obviously only once I've moved in because I need to get all my stuff um, mind you the house is all boarded up hmm I might be living in the caravan for a little bit longer yet but anyway well to be honest it's just raining there's not a lot we can do on the farm I think John and I are going to go and get lunch and have a catch up a uh, bit of chat um, and uh, so I might just leave it there maybe if it dries up this afternoon I'll I'll do a bit of footage of, of whatever we're doing. Um, and uh, yeah, much to think about. But thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed a little tour of my new farm. Um, you know, just waiting for the paperwork to sort itself out really and, and just figure out what to do first and what to do next and all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, yeah, it's kind of exciting really say the least um, it'll be hard work but I'm looking forward to the challenge but I hope you enjoyed the video if you did like the subscription is very much appreciated as always and uh, thanks so much for watching take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time I'm going to get in the car and get out of this rain bye for now